All right, so step one, we're gonna remove the drain cover, the overflow, the old caulking, and then we're gonna apply our sandwich bag to the uh, faucet and the uh, shower head, which on this unit, it has a wand, so I've put it in the sink. So step one, you're gonna get your screwdriver. This is a pretty simple process, but some people haven't done it before, so it's best just to, you know, just go over everything step by step. So simple, just Phillips head screws. You want to test the screws before you do it and give them a little twist. Sometimes they've rusted on there and you don't want to break them because then your only option would be to drill out a new hole. And when it comes to the uh, drain cover and the overflow, we also sell these on our website, refinishbathsolutions.com. Um, yeah. Gonna spend a bunch of money and redo your tub. You might as well have the pieces and the fixtures looking nice as well. Pretty inexpensive, but it can transform the whole look of the tub. All right, so after that, this just slides right up. It's just a little lever. And if yours is in decent shape, you can stick it in a bucket of CLR or put it in the dishwasher and clean it right back up instead of buying a new one. But they're usually pretty gross. So I take this and put it to the side. Same thing with the overflow here. From the drain cover rather. Simple center screw. Tough to see. This is a little bit of a confined bathroom, but we'll get there. Same thing though, you want to test the test it before you do it to make sure you don't break it. And as you can see, pretty filthy. But we'll get around that. Alright, so now that we've got those pieces removed, we want to take our a uh, razor knife, um, a putty knife, uh, whatever you got on hand to remove the caulking. This is important because we don't want to seal in the old caulking. We want to have a nice clean edge and then from there we can seal it after the unit's been completed. So to cut this out, you just want to get the razor underneath the edge and just work it right along the edge. You definitely want to be careful around the spigot itself because if you slide a little bit too much, you slide your hand underneath and you'll cut yourself like I did recently. <laughs> Alright, so again, pretty straightforward. Just removing this. Just get a couple passes going in each direction, and this will just come right off. This is usually just standard silicone. When you feel it, if it's nice and neat and it's hard caulking, then you don't have to worry about this step. Um, you know, chances are it'll be actual grout. And you're not going to be able to scrape all the grout out of there, it's just not worth it. Your nice clean caulking line at the end will be uh, very much Alright, we got one wall here. Maybe one more. Just going to get under this. Couple nice passes. You can usually see when you've got a new little finish because it will start to come right out like that. As you can see one nice big, one nice big cotton string. It makes it so you can get the tub cast fibers and resins right into the edge and edge very well. Like some of the spray coatings, if there's a little bit of residue, it's not going to affect the coating uh, because it is 98% solids. Uh, the Tubcast 5000 was created specifically for this application. And you can come back with your putty knife and just clear off any loose debris. they can be easier, sometimes they're not. It depends on your experience level with them, really. You can also, instead of a razor knife, use the 5-in-1 tool. Stick it right in the edge there. 
a little bit more difficult. But if you don't have all the tools, you don't want to spend a bunch of extra money. Just hold it just a second. And a little bit more effort. But as you can see, totally doable. sweep out the bottom and then in the next video we will wash out the tub and then after that uh, we'll be ready to tape it up and then recast it. Uh, if you like the video please subscribe. Uh, also hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions for any other details or you need a little bit more clarification on anything please comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.